to make the background for a header that you can use on Blogger, WordPress or any social networking website. The size of the header that we're going to make is 760 pixels wide by 200 pixels deep. That's generally not a bad size for Blogger, WordPress or most of the other social networking websites. The first thing we should do is to uh, determine what colour uh, background we want on the header and we can do that first of all by going over to this uh, the boxes down here the foreground color and background color uh, where we can alter color that we we want on the back of the uh, the header uh, it's not set in stone where that can be altered at a later time but uh, so what we can do is we'll put them to their default by pressing this uh, little button here and that will put it to black and white so if we want a black background, we want it down here. So on this little arrow, we'll just click that. We've now got a black background and a white foreground. So the black background is what the, the header will be at this particular time. As I say, we can change it. So what we'll do now, we'll go over to the, uh, the file, new, and we'll title it new header. and we'll set the, uh, the sizes 760 by 200 resolution should be set at 72 RGB color and 8-bit background color is the one we want so we'll now OK that and there's our, our black background if you decide now that oh I don't really want the the black as a, a background color on my header uh, we can change that quite simply by going to control on the keyboard and A and that puts around the little marquee um, now what we can do now is come down here and double left click on the foreground color and we get a color chart that comes up and let's say we fancy something green so we would just click there and we've got all these different shades of green so if we wanted a light green we'll click on the light green yeah, that's OK, so we'll OK that. That goes into the foreground colour box here. Now to change it, we come up here and we click on the paint bucket tool. We put our paint bucket uh, on the background here and left click. And that's now gone to green. Now to cancel out these uh, the marquee, we go Control and D. We've now got a green uh, background colour. Again, this, uh, we, we can change that any time we want in the way I've just showed you. Right, now let's get rid of the paint bucket tool and we'll go on to the path selection tool. At the moment we've just got a plain green as the background colour of the header. If we'd like to have some texture, some patterning on it, uh, we can do that. Uh, we'll have to go to the keyboard and control and A to get the marquee round there and then we'll go back up to the, the filter and we'll open the filter gallery and we'll look for the texture down here open the textures up and what we can do now is apply different textures grain and now you can see a grainy effect has appeared on there or mosaic or any of the others you can just have a little play about and see which ones you like and uh, if we just go back to the grain for a moment up here you have a little controls where you can intensify by it sliding it up you can see it changing or contrast up and down grain regular all different things you can just play about and see what you you actually would like to to have on there you can okay it and once you've decided on the color and the texture if you want to uh, put the texture on there we can now go ahead and add some text. We come down here and we click on the text tool and on the top toolbar we have the font, the size of the font here, 48 pixels, sharp, crisp, strong, smooth, whatever you want to pick and over here we have the, the font colour. 
Well, obviously green wouldn't be a lot of good, so we'll change that up to whatever colour you want. Let's go to red for a moment, shall we? Click on red, dark red there, and OK that. And now we'll give uh, the site a name. Click down there. Once you've typed that, up to the top of the toolbar, this little tick here, click on there, and that uh, gets rid of the, the text tool. We don't need that for a moment. Click on the little arrow there. We can come over here to the right, to the workspace, and on the character panel here, we can just unlock that. I've just left clicked it, and I've just dragged it up here. So now that gives us the, the font which is Arial, Bold, Italic, Regular, whatever you want to put it as. The colour here. This is the Horizontal Scale tool. They're always set at 100%. That's the, the, uh, the normal. Now if I left click on that and drag it to the right, you can see the numbers increasing there and that actually stretches out the text. So we can actually stretch out the text if we want. And this one over here is the vertical scale. If I left click that and bring that over to the right to increase the percentage, you'll see that it's gone up in height. Or if I go the other way, if I decrease from 100%, it goes down. Again, that's 100%, so I can just I can type that in if you want to. that back to 100 and I can do the same here so that's back to its uh, its default and also we can increase the size of the the font or we can change the color up to red and OK that when you're finished with the character panel you can left click it there and drag it back over and you'll see this little blue line just appear there when that's appeared you can let go of the uh, left button on the mouse and it just snaps back into position where it came from now we can go back over to the tool panel and we can left click the move tool and you see the little binding bounding box where we can actually now move the, the text about wherever we want and again by grabbing hold of the one of the little boxes in the corners we can left click and hold and we can move it in and out and we can make it larger or smaller we'll put it there for a moment I'll come back and click the path selection tool and I'll just apply that we can actually add some more blending options to our text if we want to we can come over over here to the layers panel and double click on my new blog uh, layer here double left click that and the layer style box will come up just move that out of the way over here now if I wanted a drop shadow just look around the, the bottom of the, the letters here I can click on the drop shadow, put a tick in there and you see a, a drop shadow has appeared unclick that for a moment if I wanted bevel and emboss you can see that's changed the look of the text there and I can have drop shadow as well if I want to alter some of these uh, settings for the bevel and emboss if I on the bevel and emboss here if I just left click that you've now got this box that's uh, opened up and you've got different settings and you can play about with them if I just the depth and see how it's changing you just play about with those settings there to whatever you you like and then once you found one you like you just okay it and there we are right we save it twice once the PSD and once the JPEG the PSD is the editable version and the JPEG is the one that's uploaded to the blog site thank you for watching Absolutely.